Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another Ask Dave episode for you. The question today... <clears throat> the question today comes from Terry Halliday, AF7W, in Cocoa, Florida. And he has this question. And it's a question that's been asked many times in many ways. And the answer seems to kind of always be the same. It's the question is has to do with what should I get? Uh, D star, which is the uh, ICOM and Kenwood way of doing VHF, UHF digital radio. Uh, should you get System Fusion, which is the Yesu way, or should get, you get DMR, which is what all the Chinese are, uh, manufacturers are doing? And the answer is that there's no good answer to that. Usually what I tell people is um, find out what's being used in your local area and use that. And I know that's an issue because, as he points out here, things can come and go. He says, I have a Kenwood THD74, which I bought originally because it is a tri-band radio. So I'm guessing that means it has 2 meters, 1.25 meters, and 70 centimeters, which is your... Uh, 146 megahertz band, your 222 megahertz band, and your 430 megahertz band. Okay, it has a PRS capability. That's nice. It's got a GPS receiver in it. It can act as a tracker. Um, now, interestingly, in APRS, a tracker is the thing that is tracked. Okay, not the one who is doing the tracking. It's just the way it is. It's been that way for 40 years. Um, I just recently had to have it repaired, and when I got it back, I was thinking about D-Star abilities. I have tried and still use many different modes, such as sideband, packet, FM, AM, CW, and others, but I have never tried any digital modes. Uh, they're there to try. Have at it. By the way, um, there is um, FT8 on six and two meters and, and even above like that. So you can do that. I did some research on the D-Star and set it up on my radio, okay? Sadly, there is no D-Star repeater active in my area. Research has shown that the local repeater was removed after the owner became a silent key or passed away in amateur parlance. I found several other digital modes active in my area, including DMR and Fusion. D-Star, DMR, and Fusion are the three biggies. Can you tell me which digital modes are currently more in use and may stay in use for a period of time? And unfortunately, the answer to that is a flat no. I can't. It's not like VHS and Beta, where VHS finally just... Uh, cleaned Beta's clock, even though Beta was a better product uh, than the VHS. Um, now we're looking at uh, something very interesting today with this power station, and it seems to go along with the patron that I would like to thank. His uh, name is Flybo, uh, Flyboy Bobio. Flyboy Bobio. Okay. <laughs> I imagine he enjoys the piloting videos, too. Uh, this is probably a little heavy to take on an airplane, but uh, certainly you can use it in the hangar if you don't have electricity. Uh, so thank you very much. You, 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 too, can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og. We have three. ICOM and Kenwood make... Um, D-Star, and they're not going to do System Fusion, even though Yesu claims System Fusion is open to anybody who wants to use it, nor are they going to do DMR, especially they're not going to do DMR, because DMR is done by the Chinese, and you've got this Japan-China thing. Remember, they fought a, a huge and very nasty war, uh, and there are a lot of people who are still carrying the torch for that war. Um, System Fusion is Yesu, it works fine. A lot of people like it, they say it has better audio quality. 
Uh, DMR is made by all the Chinese manufacturers, uh, plus Alenco, which is technically a Japanese manufacturer. Uh, and the Chinese are not going to do anything that the Japanese do. So, I mean, it's, it's the opposite of that, that same, um, same mechanism there. So, what we have is three popular plus a variety of other also RANs uh, in the digital experience on VHF UHF. Okay. And by the way, on HF, there's some different protocols you can do for digital voice over HF. And there's been some experimentation, but they've not really caught on. Uh, if you're set up for FD8, you're probably also set up for those digital voice modes. But I've not explored it myself. I'm not even really sure what to go look at. So what do you get? What do you get? I mean, you're gonna, you, there is no radio that does all of them. You've got two choices. One, one is what's called a hotspot. This hotspot, which is made by NextGen down in San Diego, based on a Raspberry Pi and a little uh, daughter board on top of it, um, this connects to the internet. And that's the thing about these digital repeaters. When you talk to a repeater, you can hook into the internet from the repeater and it goes to a great big cloud in the sky and other let's say we're doing DMR other DMR repeaters can pick up on that so you go into what is called a chat group I think of it I think uh, it's often called room in other cases it's sort of like a party line um, and if you're my age you remember what party lines are so it has nothing to do with a political group. It's just a bunch of people sharing a phone line. So the thing is you can go in there and you talk to people around the world. You can join the uh, talk group for Germany and talk to people in Germany, in German, if you want. There are all kinds of talk groups, some local, some worldwide, some regional, all sort of things like that. You can get to them through the appropriate repeater or the hotspot. Now the hotspot connects to the internet and your, your radio talks to this. Actually the little antenna is kind of superfluous because no matter how much you transmit this little thing's going to get it. But you can also set up a hotspot. Now the hotspots, there's this one from NextGen. I've got one up here from Bridgecom called the Skybridge Plus. These hotspots connect you via the internet to the clouds and it will do it for DMR and System Fusion and DSTAR. These will do any one of them. Now if you, um, so if you have a radio, you DMR radio, you can talk to all the DMR chat rooms, okay? All of them uh, can be there. Now, there are some chat rooms that are common between, uh, like you get into this chat room via DMR, somebody can get into the same chat room via D, uh, D star, okay? And you can actually talk together. But as to which DMR, D star, system fusion, is taking over the world? The answer is none of them. Uh, they're all very viable. None have been pushed uh, to the, the rear. Um, basically what you want to do is whatever your club uses or your repeater group or whatever it is, if they're all on System Fusion, then you want to get a System Fusion radio. Uh, if you're on D-Star and there is no D-Star repeater, you can still get in and talk to the D-Star world with a hotspot. These are not cheap. They're around $200 or so. They're probably going up a bit in price. Uh, the one that... If you think you might have trouble setting it up, I'd recommend the Bridgecom one 
because Bridgecom Systems, which is located in Missouri, not in Japan, located in Missouri, uh, provides support, phone support. They also have a whole bunch of training videos that you can use uh, that, that talk how to put these things up. And they talk you through the process of setting up the sky bridge, which is this little thing right here. And if you look very carefully, it's built on a Raspberry Pi. It has a bigger screen than the next gen one does. Uh, and they've thrown in here an extra battery for it, cables, stuff like that, that put in there. So um, you can look on the bridgecomsystems.com website. And um, this is their, their motto. <laughs> DMR made easy. Uh, now they normally sell Anytone products which are Chinese, therefore DMR. Uh, Bridgecom Systems also sells repeaters. Now the reason probably that they took down that repeater uh, when that uh, uh, guy died uh, is that there is a phone line connected to it and that phone line uh, gets to the internet. It's somehow connected to the internet and that's how you get the connection between all the DMR repeaters. So a lot of people don't understand that a DMR repeater or a D-Star repeater is not just local, it's worldwide. And you have to tell it which talk group to go to so there's some training involved. So I hope that helps uh, give you a little bit of a feel for what's going on. Uh, I don't see any one of those three coming out on top uh, anytime soon. Uh, I mean, the Chinese have many brands of radios. Their radios are often less expensive than the Japanese. So we're going to see D-Star grow. But a lot of people like the Japanese radios because the um, human computer interface for the Japanese radios has long been worked out to satisfy the American users whereas the Chinese are still working on that. So, there you go. I hope that helps. Those of you who have watched to this point in the video, I appreciate your support. Please subscribe. Also, if you would like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom support and picking a way that works for you. Until we next meet, 73.